You know guys, the big question is always how to get this one massive sound, the one that no one expected. Like for example in Wasted by Joyhauser, the sound on the drop. Should we check out how it's done? Let's go. So this is the sound that we're making today and um, to start it all off let's talk about the midis. So first of all um, I know the track is an A so we're gonna put an A here and we know that there is some kind of movement right it goes from like a lower feeling to a higher feeling so naturally we would just add a higher note and that's actually not all that wrong um, but what we want to happen here is actually a glide so maybe we do this first and I'm gonna set the whole thing to mono legato which means uh, whenever two notes are overlapping which we should do now the two are overlapping now then the next one is going to be played because it's mono they're not going to be stacked on top of each other but because uh, if we enable the portamento time right the glide then uh, there's going to be a glide a pitch from the one node to the other only when they're overlapping so that's very interesting and um, let's set this all the way up i don't know 600 milliseconds very long now it doesn't work because the notes are not overlapping but if we overlap them we get this little pitch and that was way too much we didn't even reach the end of the pitch right so let's go a little shorter yeah yeah something like this something about around 200 milliseconds right and uh yeah this is already like the base that we need for our sound this is the midis and this is the the glide effect that they are using and now let's think a little bit about how the sound is done so first of all i'm gonna use two saw oscillators now and detune them just a little bit and maybe one could even go an octave higher yeah because this is where we get the high pitch kind of content from and um, I'm pretty sure that we need to use a lot of unison yeah that's much better much better so now we kind of have the basic idea of the sound let's say the basic ingredients uh, for the sound but what we are still missing is the details and all the different like little aspects of the sound that we have to have in mind. So first of all, when we hear this, it feels a little too powerful right from the beginning. When we listen to the to Joyhauser sound, it kind of feels like it progresses more to the to the second A, right, to the higher note. So we have the progression through the pitch already, but there should be something more. And um, I'm thinking about the high frequencies here because it feels a little too bright from the very beginning and overall I think it feels a little too bright which is why first of all I want to go and use a distortion uh, because distortion is always super super good to control the frequencies. Uh, distortion is actually probably a better EQ than a lot of EQs um, <laughs> but we can talk about this in another video guys that's okay. What it does in serum if we put it to tube for example or ta tape situation and apply this little bit of cutoff is we take away the super high frequencies like 20,000, 18,000. This is what we don't need in our synth and this is what the distortion will take out of it. And at the same time, it will thicken the sound a little bit, so we get two for one, right? That's uh, that's amazing. And I would say we can try tape saturation, maybe tube. I like the tube here. Yeah, tape sounds also, also nice, right? It's, it's both fine, I think. Let's go with the tape saturation, and I think. We, we took away a bit of the higher frequencies. Let's do the comparison again. Not only the high frequencies we want to take away, but also the low frequencies. And therefore, I want to use the bend, bend minus, because it bends the curve just a little bit, so we lose some low frequency content. Yeah. 
Depends on your hearing situation right now on the phone. You might not be able to hear it. Maybe take some headphones or both. Uh, or best maybe listen to it in the studio and uh, you will definitely be able to hear the difference when band is applied. It's somehow very subtle but at the same time very cool effect and works very well. So before we continue shaping the sound I want to add this kind of an echo uh, at the end because I think it's very important for the sound and uh, yeah it should be quarters. Yeah, perfect. What we can do now to make the echo just a little bit more interesting is m delay one channel by a little bit. So the echo feels uh, um, wider, right? Let's just make the pattern a little bit longer. And now essentially I think we need two types of envelopes, maybe not both of them at the same time. First of all, we need a plucky envelope, just a little bit. Because there will also be this kind of thing, something like this they have in their track. And then what I think we also need is something like this, like a little opening of the cutoff. And we can add just a little bit more drive here, a little bit more resonance if we want to, maybe uh, boost the whole thing a little bit. But uh, yeah, from there it's like um, little details and little ideas that you maybe also want to um, emphasize for yourself, right? So uh, you can get the sound, just uh, follow the link in the description, you can get the sound uh, and play around with it yourself. For example, you can also make it a bit more detuned or a bit more like this, really depends what you like and um, this is how you would make the sound essentially. So I hope this was helpful for you in understanding a bit more how to build up that synth and also how to like have an idea in mind like the sound should open up a bit and then apply different things like the glide or the envelope 3 here now on the cutoff to emphasize on the ideas that you already have in your mind. This is what sound design is about and if you want to learn more check out some videos on this channel. We got a lot on sound design, on techno, tracks like Joy Hauser, all of that. You can find it on the channel and every video comes with free downloads so go check it out. Until then I would say have a good time and keep making music. <laughs>